Well, Seth, first of all, congratulations. You're this week's Gary Patterson State Farm, the Golf Elgin Player of the Week. And uh, this t last time we talked to you, it was for football. And now we're, uh, we're getting towards the end of the wrestling season. And you and this Demon program have been absolutely outstanding this season. Tell me a little bit about how things are going for you guys, what y'all's strengths are, as well as your season. Oh, well, I mean, it's been going pretty good for our season. We've been battling through some injuries and stuff like that, but we've managed to come out stronger than before on that. And um, we're just really, we're getting this program back to where it used to be is, you know, where state championships are the normal around here. And um, looking forward to that. It's on the rise for sure. You are wrestling as a heavyweight, and you weigh uh, what, you're about 245 right now. And uh, obviously, with that weight class going up to 285 and starting uh, at 220, you're kind of right in the middle there. Uh, but you're incredibly successful, a contender for the state championship. So tell me, kind of what it's like being right in the middle of the pack as far as the weights go. Well, I mean, it's tough sometimes when you get up towards the bigger kids, but I mean, you just got to battle it out and. It's definitely a mental game for sure because mm. when you go out there and they got 40 pounds on you, it's tough, but mm. you just got to keep your mind right and stay in it. Would you prefer to go up against a guy that's, that's real heavy, a 280-plus pounder that can't move that well, or would you rather go up against a guy that doesn't have all that weight yet is, like yourself, very agile and quick? Mm, honestly, if they don't move very well and they're high on weight, then I'd probably rather go against them because okay. – you tend to be able to use their weight against them a little more. And, um, I mean, yeah, you still got to wrestle smart. You can't get caught in anything or he'll be in trouble. But um, but as long as you stay smart and you can use your weight to the advantage, it tends to make it a little bit easier. You got a match coming up uh, that will be essentially for the region, right? Yes, With, sir. Uh, what's it, Darlington and, uh, and Hartsville. So uh, you feel pretty good going into that, huh? Yes, sir. I feel pretty confident, strong. Team been working hard. I mean, I know that that's the key, isn't it? Is yes, what sir. you do working, away from the mat. Working to... hard every day. We're off from school. We're in the wrestling room practicing and just yeah. getting after it. Yeah. Uh, have you, uh, you obviously don't have to worry about the old cutting weight part of it, mm -hmm. being right in the middle of the heavyweight. Uh, uh, do you have, uh, are you around some guys that, that, that have to deal with that on a consistent basis? You kind of you kind of look back and say, man, I'm glad I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> yes, sir. I sure I am. That's probably the greatest thing about being a heavyweight. Yeah. Um, football this year, you had a terrific year, as did the Demons, and everyone's excited about it. And I think it's, I think what Matt's, Matt, Coach Matt Campbell's done coming over here is kind of revitalize not just the football program, but the whole school in a way, and the community and all that. And we were talking a moment ago, and you're telling me it, it kind of bleeds over to wrestling and every other sport, that there's kind of a new attitude of, of who we are and what we are and what we can be around oh, yeah, here. Yes, so the new coaches and everything over here, it definitely turned this program around for the better. It, it, it makes it a lot cooler to come to school every day, yeah, it doesn't really it? Does. Yeah, it really does. It makes you want to work harder and just be the best you can be. Well, hey, man, uh, congrats on a terrific season so far, but with region and then state coming up, again, you're going to be in contention for a, uh, for a title. So uh, best of luck to you. Keep working hard, and as always, good things will happen. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir.